me again. Guess what? Life by You has dropped another little update. Not a huge thing, but just a little bit more showcasing the build mode, and I thought we would watch that little video today and talk about it, and then uh, just see if there's any other information out there that we may have missed this week. So they posted a tweet earlier today at 9 a.m. Let's dive into some build tools together. Join community manager Rokio Ruscio? I don't know how to say that. As we work on some walls and floors. Let's watch the video. See what it's all about. I know the build mode looks really good, so I'm very, very eager to see this. Hi, okay. everyone. It's Rocio again. And I Rocio. Want to you through some of That's how you say it. I knew Today that. We're going to be looking at walls and uh, I love that this gives me Sims so 3 vibes start by with the, with the, the material, of the material and, and the color changing. Material, I can oh change my the God, color, so amazing. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Bright green, dark green. Here you can see a montage of me trying to find it the It gives right just material. so much more creativity with the kitchen, to I the user. To save a color for later. So I'm going to go ahead and save this tile in green as a preset. And if I change my mind, that I can is just very dark. right click that away. I can't even see it. You can scale the pattern too? No way. Horizontal axis. Likewise, okay, that's I'm awesome. Going to go that is awesome. That looks really good now. Down. And okay. of course, you can I like that. Flooring, walls, and roofs. So far, I've shown you all of the materials that are possible. What? But let me narrow this <laughs> that's down awesome. to just walls. And immediately, okay. I'm drawn to this pattern. Ooh, but that's really pretty. Color so that there's a little bit more contrast. Not that bright. Cabinets. But don't worry, nothing too bright. I kind of like this hue. So but maybe a little bit. This. Yeah, Here's then like make color. it a little bit lighter. Just go to the bottom and click the little plus sign. Now that I'm here, I can affect the colors hue, saturation, and lightness. Because you can do it by hex case, code, it looks I like. It yeah. A little bit less saturated and a little bit lighter. And once I'm happy with it, I can go ahead and click save, swatch down Very here pretty. so that I can come back to this color. Now that I've settled on a style, I can go ahead and click the paintbrush in the middle right here. And it'll go everywhere you click. Oh my gosh. And that the and floor, you can do it all in one go. You can just go ahead and drag the wall to extend Ooh. your room if you realize you need more space. Oh, okay. And all of the similar, things mentioned are all similar to Sims. To flooring as well. You can change the but material, there is quarter the movement and the spread of in the wall placements and stuff, I think. So, floor, like quarter tile movement. Go with the hardwood for the kitchen. In this Which case, is great. I'm just going to go ahead and sample the existing hardwood flooring. You just click the eyedropper and then click the flooring you'd like to They cut. have sampling. Are, okay, course, good, good. Samples of how to use the build tool in Life by You. We have a ton more to show in the That's comments, it. so stay tuned eh. and thank you so much for watching. Oh my god, I want more! I want them to show us more! I mean, that's, that's cool, that's something. Look at this. I was wondering what they're gonna put for their game, because, like, their game isn't out yet, so it's not on YouTube. They put The Sims as their game. That's funny. I guess I should do that with these videos then. I was putting Sims 4. Actually, I might have done Sims 3 on the last one, because, I mean, really, it's closer to that than <laughs> Sims 4. Okay, wow, that's cool. Uh, let's check the comments. Yes, someone mentioned they noticed half tile placement. Yep, I noticed that in the last video. So it is very good to see that, you know, you can put your walls in half tile placements. It doesn't have to be like like the full square like in The Sims. So I think that's that's huge. That's going to give us a lot more customization in the build mode, even just with how you can build your walls and stuff, right? Uh, it doesn't look like they answered any of these questions yet, but people are very excited about it. And it's going to be so cool to see uh, this game to come to life very soon, very soon. Not, I mean, a few months away, but still. And I missed this yesterday. You want to have a bustling town in Life by You, but how do you keep track of everyone? Find out in our latest Q&A. So this is just like a minute long video, so I thought we could watch that really quick now before we do anything else. So it looks like they're really going hard at like making sure they're answering all the stuff that <laughs> people are curious about. I love that. Hi everyone. We received a lot of questions around how you can manage people around town. Yeah, they're like, and we, we have a lot to go ahead and show you a lot how. of people Here asking I'm questions. Ahead let's and uh, let's clarify. Editor. Oh, this lists all of your humans in alphabetical order. Alphabetical so you order, easy. You have around town. In the world, From you don't have to open a different menu. Click on any Freaking individual on this Wait for list a loading screen. Right to them. Not only that, but there's a oh. lot of information on this page. As you can kind of tell, you can, you see, can see where see they the live. Oh my god, this is so much week. better. But you can also go ahead and change things here. We just oh. changed somebody's house. Let's go ahead and change this person's job. And you can go ahead and do this for anyone. And you any can change. Wow, now, that's super easy. Some person in your town. 
Weldon, you've been a bit sassy lately, so I'm going to press the minus button and it will remove him from my town. But let's say I want to keep the population <laughs> that's easy. of my town the same. So I'm going to go ahead and add a randomly generated person. Oh, from the that's easy. So as no you can see, going into menus, having to wait for it to generated and edit them load. As you and of course, oh you God. can still make your own humans in the character creator. What? Okay. So that's awesome. <laughs> I'm definitely excited to have that type of control where you can like easily switch between people, easily remove people, easily update even some of their stuff. Like you can give them different jobs if you don't like what job was generated for them. I think that's awesome too. A lot of interesting stuff just in that little bit. And uh, the first clip about the walls and the floors, of course, is very Sims 3, but with Sims 4 like building in the same time like what everything we wanted in sims 4 from sims 3 but then also more because you got the half tile uh building and stuff like that i don't know i'm very excited for this i can't wait for the game to come out and i will be continuing coverage on this type of stuff as we get more and more info so probably about once a week if they keep posting like they have been. I don't know when the next one will be, but we will see. Hopefully it's something soon and something exciting because so far so good. And every time they post more and more stuff, I get more and more excited. So hope you are too. Let me know what you think about this new game, Life by You. And how do you feel about it? Are you going to be buying it right away? You're going to wait and see if people like me play it first? <laughs> what, what do you think? Well, either way, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And thank you so much for being here. All right. Thank you.